All right, guys. Welcome everyone to this stream. My name is Lips Diola, and tonight's stream is all about Ghost Recon Wildlands. The Ghost War League were down to the quarterfinals for season six. We got FFU in blue to the left and the tactical squad in red to the right. Right now the teams are ready, we're loading in. We're gonna be playing on Lithium Mine, it's best out of nine. We have a nice day, it's gonna be light. But it'll cost 10 minutes per round. And it's gonna be dope. All right, let's get ready. On the blue team, FFU, we have Sky, Predator, Toxic and Vanguard. Thermal two of those. We have on the red side, we have Bravo team with Disruptor, Predator, Scout and Sentinel. On the FFU team, we have Exotic, we have Zack, we have Krita, we have Red. On the red team, the tactical squad, we have Luca, Boys, Inya and Hulk. Loading in. Here we go. So this is one of the newest maps. Let's see how the price does it. Scout is up on both sides. Releasing the camera. Welcome to the stream room. I see you there, Nancy. The red team is being a bit more passive here. Not really more passive than the blue team though. And both teams sort of hanging back here. Now the blue team does have the advantage of having the vanguard. On the other hand, the red team has the disruptor. And pushing up with that disruptor, as you can see Loka is doing right there in the center of the screen, is the right thing to do. Oh, looks like we got some lag over there. Looks like Zack on the right hand side of the screen is lagging. Going for those animations. Red team has three in the front and one sniper in the back. This is the view from Exotic. Blue team is starting to rotate. Taking down the scout drone. The good side of having that scout drone is you've always find the enemies. If they are moving, you will get that sign marker and you will track them down. Here we go. Teams are getting closer. Oh, look at that. Luca takes out Zack. Right there. In that narrow corridor. Here we go. That was a very good ball toss. And Inya is marked. Okay, the vanguards. All tossing. Sky Drone is up on the blue team. They are dying one person though. Luca is pushing on the red team. He has Inya right behind him. The disruptor is pushing up. Blue team is getting disrupted. Boys on the side. Look at that. Red team is putting a lot of pressure on blue team. Krita is going down. Red is the only one left on the blue team. Takes out Luca with a headshot. But Hulk comes back and takes out Red. It happened quickly. Now it is best out of a nine. So a lot of things can still happen. The first point goes to Bro team. Red team. 
the tactical squad. Blue team is going with Disruptor, Predator, Scout, and Toxic. Red team is going with Scout, Disruptor, Predator, and Sentinel. So in this league, there are no health boxes. There's no way to pick up ammo. And thus, the decision has been made to not ally bleeding the hollow points. The only way to get back your life is really get picked up and that means you only have half life. Let's switch over to the blue team. Look at that, Zack is going for the flank again. Red team has two people pushing the center and two staying in the back. Look at that. Blue team is using the tax toxic to force Loka to fall back from that center area. Looks like Bose on the red team is trying to hold the side there, but Zack is out there, even way further out there, out on the south field. Red team sniper, the Hulk, trying to catch any glimpse of the blue team. Ooh, look at that, you can see that as Red was looking around the corner, Hulk was taking shots. Blue team is taking damage. Here we go. Ooh, red team is rotating with that sniper. Blue team putting up the gas running again. Hey Draco, hey Mirda, good to see you friends, good to have you here with me. Exotic has moved up and taken the position that, ja that Zack had on the blue team, while Zack is moving around. We can see over there in the center that red on the blue team it's getting disrupted by Luca on the red team. He knows. He knows they're close. In the background there, we can see that Zack is going for the flank. He's trying to come up behind the enemies. But he is the disruptor. Meaning that when he gets close enough, enemies will know he's around. And that might give them time to be alerted. Red team is kind of moving around now. Look at that. Luca is right here. Looks like Krita is in bad spot as Luca is pushing up. Nice time. Look at that red coming out, taking shots, taking down Luca. Red team is down one person. Zach is moving around. Here we go. They know that they're disrupted. Polk sees Zack and takes him out. It's down to three versus three. Here we go. Both teams are trying to slowly move up towards the center using that drone. Interesting to say is that both their dying are the disruptors. Both the service was very aggressive though, pushing up 
alone. Hey Deke, I see you there. Welcome. And there's plenty, plenty of time. There's 10 minutes per round. Plenty of time to regroup, reorganize, and move around. Hey Nameless, good to see you. Welcome. The recon tower is active. Is red team gonna go for it? Are they gonna go for it? Hawk is very close. He's going for it. If they succeed, blue team will be shown. Here we go. Bravo team captured the objective. Blue team is now marked. This is the time when red team want to push. And blue team, being marked, would want to stay in cover. Oh, look at that! Hulk has the flank on Krita. Takes Krita out. Also taking up. Here we go. One more. One left. Red team takes it home. Second round goes home to the red team. Alright, blue team going game with sky tech pred and disruptor, red team going with the sky sentinel predator and point man this time. Interesting. So the red team is no longer picking this the disruptor. Yes, the loading screens do look funny. As you had the gun sticking out of the chest. Alright, let's hop over to... Exotic. On the bloating. Here we go, getting that view. Hey there, Avocado. Welcome. I am doing very well today, thank you. I hope you're all doing well. This is right now. Round three. Here we go! It's down! Zack was pushing up so far that he was taking up, and India was pushing up as well. Take an eye by red. Here we go. Oh, look at that, look at that. Bose is right there, right there. Being the spectator as we are, we can see everyone. Even though they are hiding in a building or out in the open, we do see them. The other teams do not. Look at that, Red is taking up them, Bosa. He saw him. There's only two people left on the Red team right now. It's Luca and it's Hulk. We have Hulk out there. We have Luke in the center. 
on the blue team we have exotic and red in the center and Krita is on top of both body getting the drawing up right now the blue team really needs to get the information on where the others are because they are higher in numbers the three versus two getting that they might be able to push however hulk on the red team does have a pretty good view from there Ooh, reaper steps out and takes out luca and pushes up it's only one person left on the red team this might be the time the blue team turns this around and takes home the first point manke hey there i see you welcome So exotic and red needs to position themselves in a way that they can get to that recon tower as soon as it's up. However, they would be expecting that Hulk on the red team would have view of it. Let's have over to Red's red team's view over here. Okay. Now this stream is five minutes delayed. Just to make sure there's no cheating. So if you have any comments in the chat, any questions, I have my amazing mods here with me that can help you with basically anything, any questions you have. If there's a question for me, I will answer it as soon as I can. However, you will only hear my answer five minutes later. Hey, Peer! There we go. Krita takes out Hulk. The first point to the blue team. The score is one and two. We're loading in. It's best out of nine. Which means it's first team to five. So it looks like blue team is shaping it up, getting it together, and we might have a winner on either side still. Checking off the first two rounds. Let's see what they pick this time. Blue team, printer, sky, tech, and point man. Red team. Has a sky, pred, disruptor, and sentinel. Bringing back that disruptor. We can hear pings, drones are up, information. It is so important to get that information as soon as possible. Get into position. Are the enemies going to the left, to the right, to the center? Where are they and what classes are they? Ooh, here we go. Red on the blue team is being brave and pushing up. Being disrupted though, he knows that the enemy are close. Red team has spotted blue team. It's taking firing at Zack. No one's taking damage so far though. Flashes are right. 
Red team has Inya that is pushing up to help. Ooh, Red is falling back but he's taking damage and Hulk takes him down. Hulk up there moving around, supporting Red team. Ooh, look at that, look at that! We have a heroic pickup. Red is gonna be on his feet in just a few seconds. There we go, it's back to four versus four. The boy takes out Zack as he was peeking and shooting. It's back to four versus three. Zack's body is in the open. Luca is pushing up. Red and Krita. Trying to fight them off. But it takes out Krita. Krita takes out Luca. And Luca takes out Red. It is down to one versus three. Ooh, Exotic takes out Rose, but in. Yeah, comes up and takes him out. Hey there, face. I see you. Welcome. The score is now one point to blue team and three points to red team. Alright, loading round number five. Welcome everyone. The stream is five minutes delayed. Making sure that there is no cheating. My name is Diala. This is Ghost War League. Ghost Rick and Wildlands. Hope you enjoy. Season six, we're at the quarterfinals. On the left hand side, we have FFU, on the right hand side, we have the Tactical Squad. Alright. Let's get a view. Red is getting the drawing up quickly. Look at that, blue team has two Two people that did not pick class. All right, we have a red team keeping Hulk in the back. Being long range again. Red team is going for the flank, pushing up and pushing hard. Red team, blue team is sticking more together this time. They get a long range gun this time as well, the Sentinel. Now, red team. Red team Sentinel, Hulk, is very alone over there. And blue team is pushing up. Blue team might be able to take him out. Look at that. Hulk is very much alone. And red team, the rest of the red team is way, way back there. This might turn things around. Hulk is taking damage. Red Reaper and Sonic taking Hulk out. It's down to four versus three. With that surprise coming around, red is now down to three people. And blue team is moving together. Looking professional. Red has set up camp in the center. Blue team is guarding that body for now, getting the scout up to try and find those that are left on the red team. T 
taking out the tank, making sure no one gets hurt if it blows up in a second where you are too close to it. What are the teams going to do now? Red team still has their scout up, getting that information. Let's see what the team will do. Getting the intel and then acting on it. Zag is doing now exactly what Hulk has been doing on the red team for so long. So long meaning the other rounds. Getting into that sniper position. Oh, look at that! Zack taking out both. It's down to two versus four. There we go. Red team is regrouping, falling back. Why did he disappear for us? I do not know. Friends, I do not know. Blue team's Krita is close enough to get disrupted by Loka, meaning they have better means of finding them. Red team needs to play it smart and safe. They're gonna survive this as they are only two people versus the blue scout squad is four. Here we go. Shot to Riken. Exotic is there, going for the recon tower. Crit is there taking out India, and Luke is the only one left trying to take out the Exotic that's on the recon tower. And so close. He only has a sliver of health left. There we go. Zack is moving around, taking out Luca. It is down to two points to the blue team and three points to the red team. Blue team is starting to catch up again. What may have looked like blue team was giving up as they had two people going as the recruit. No, scratch that. They made a turn around and they took home another point. Next round is about to start. We got Scout, Toxic, Medic and Ranger on the blue team. Scout, Sentinel, Predator and Disruptor on the red team. Still, it's best out of nine. Anyone's game. Again, we're loading in as the first person on the red team, which is Luca, playing the disruptor. Gonna release the camera. Okay. Oh, 
Hey there, Notch. I see you there. Welcome. Both teams are taking a position and then suddenly no one is moving. Both teams want information. On the red team we have Luca and Hulk sitting in the back getting information and then moving on it boys on the red team is taking up what seems to be a favorite position in that big building oh look at that oh look at that we have Zack he went for the side flank going for it and he took out Hulk oh that's a beautiful move a beautiful move just as Hulk was about to be revived, Blue Team acted and used that toxic gas to stop the Red Team from picking it up and save on using their medic to pick up Zack. A beautiful move from the Red, from the Blue Team. A beautiful move. Lol Charlie 2K, welcome to the stream. Look at that, on the blue team now we have Krita going for the flank. Probably trying to get an angle on Hulk's body. <gasps> Zack is there again, taking out India. But Boyce is there taking out Krita with a very nice explosion. Here we go, here we go. Zack takes out Luca and Luca takes out that they are tra they traded. Boyce is the only one alive on the red team right now. And Exotic goes for it and he takes out Boyce. Look at that. It is turning around. Nothing. Nothing has been said yet. They are equal in score. Blue team and red team. First team to five points. First team to five points. Both teams has three points so far. It's anyone's game. Hey there, Slim. Welcome. Scout, Toxic Ranger, and Medic again on the blue team. Scout, Point, Man, Predator, and Toxic on the red team. All right, here we go, loading in. And the drone is up. So the team's switching it up. We have gas on both sides. Have the blue team staying more together. Here we go. There we go. Red team is moving up. Taking out any explosive stuff. Not sure what's going on right there, but we are losing sight of Luca again. All right, the teams are still getting into position, blowing stuff up on the way as they go. Both teams knows that it's closing up. 
three points to each team. Oh, Zach does it. Look at that. He takes out Luca in the exact same way that Hulk took out people from the blue team before. Seems like we have a few sound bugs. Scout is up. Medic drone is coming up on the blue team. Red team is playing it, playing it safe. Staying closely together at this point. Getting into that building though might be safe, but it could turn into a death trap if blue team were to keep eyes on both doors, both exits. Looks like red team might be in a pinch here. Ranger on the blue team is hurt. Ooh, look at that, look at that. And he's hurt. The best way to use that gas. This gas the enemy team, make them run for it and while they run, you shoot. Look at that, Hulk is gunning up on the roof. Take out Zack. Exactly takes out Hulk, it's down to three versus two. India is is he trying to pick up right there that looks like a desperate move right now or is he trying to take cover behind the barrel not sure down to two versus two here we go red reaper is there didn't have enough time both took him out critter is the only one left suddenly on the blue team Red team is going for the pickup right there on the straight. The move is possible due to blue only having one person left. Crit is in big trouble and is down. Here we go. This Ryan was won by the red team. It did look like the red team was in big trouble there, being confined in that room, but they made it out and they took the point. We're loading in again. We'll get Scout, Disruptor, Medic and Predator on the blue team. Scout, Point, Man, Predator and Tech the red team. Looks like the red team might be sick of those drones hanging around and is now going to do something about it. And that may, might be a good counter to the blue team having that medic drone. Let's switch over to the blue team. This is the sky that we're viewing. You can see that the sky got disrupted, knowing that there is a disruptor in the area. Here we go. Getting the nice overview of the game. Blue team. It's taking a position in the center. Red team as well. They haven't pushed up as far this time. More waiting for the blue team to make a move. We can hear the pings. We can't see the pings though. Nor see what team made them. We can hear them. Knowing that the teams are relaying that information. Zack is making a move. He is in that building. Looks like Luca wanted to run after him.
Welcome to the show, everyone. Ooh, Critter on the blue team is so close to peeking that corner. Might... Might not be the best idea if the red team were to have, so to say, a sniper eye on the right side, for example. Here we go, blue team is falling back. Are they going to go for a flank or are they trying to get a red team to come to them? Scatron is up in the blue team as well as in the red. Blue team's definitely starting to move around. Hey there, Black. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the channel. And Blacky plays games? Welcome. Feel free to hang out as much as you would like. If you have any questions, please ask them. Black Cat 1989, thank you for the follow. The medic drone is up, the sky drone is up, and the teams are trying desperately to get as much information as possible. We can see that the blue team is moving around trying to get an angle. The red team is being more passive. Placing a bunch of mines, maybe wanting the blow team to rotate around and step right onto the mines. Here we go. Both teams have rotated run shots have been fired and the red team is taking damage getting that intel is so important oh look at that look on the left side we have critter and boys being so close sound bugs again it sounds like boys is taking out critter Red team is rotating. Looks like red might be in a difficult position there. Zack is moving in to help. Running out into the open. Can he do it? No, he does not. Bose is taking out Zack as he was way out in the open. Oh, Lucas is running around. Red Reaper turns around. He gets him. Two more incoming red. Both takes out red. One person left. It is exotic. It is exotic. This might be it. Here we go. It is done. It is done. It's over. The red team was the winner. With a score of 3 to blue and 5 to red. The winners are that tactical squad. GG's to both teams. Well played. Now this is Ghost War League, the quarterfinals. Meaning that the tactical squad is going to move on to the semifinals. Hey guys, good game. That was a lot of fun. Appreciate it. GG to everyone, good play. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Oh, and, and, and thank you for shout casting, Dila. Dila. Thank you, boys. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. I was afraid we we're gonna have anybody, but I'm, I'm glad someone came through. I'm happy to help. 
Really happy to shout cast. Thank you so much. <laughs> yep, no problem. See you around. See you around. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Diana. This is being streamed on my Twitch. I do have a YouTube channel though, and I'm gonna upload this video later to that. Links are down below the Twitch in the panels. I will post that so we can keep this video for those who would like to view it later. Thank you everyone that's been watching. I've had a lot of fun tonight. I hope you had too. I was happy to see this new map being used. And I will be back for the next season. This is the end of season 6 and I will see you guys in season 7. Again, this is the Ghost Warling. Have an awesome evening. See you later.